were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, what we have is um, for career and finance, we have the 10th house, which is good. Okay, it talks about your reputation. It talks about long-term goal, achievement, fulfillment. It also talks about responsibilities. It can talk about Saturn too. Tough lessons being learned. Um, maybe uh, endurance, you know, stability, courage, confidence. Um, I'm just hearing endurance again, persevering through competence. Also, maybe even you going back to school, learning something uh, on the job, learning, having done something for a number of years. So you have like an expertise at it. Okay. It talks about purpose and building your empire. So uh, career and finance looks good. Your, reputa your reputation is good. So um, that's really good to know, especially, you know, that's the best card. One of the best cards you can pull for career in finance it, it's like you're, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing here uh the tens talk about a completion a fullness of a thing it talks about um the energy of mount Kuf, so it disseminating turning into something else so maybe you, you're even thinking about maybe a change in career or bringing about something else or bringing about another part of your business or your um career not career but maybe your resume or doing something different in your field like learning something new instituting so this is really good for a career um in uh, relationships uh, romantic and so forth uh, you have the third house okay so this could be indicative of dating you know perception how are you perceiving things or how do people perceive you um it's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, I didn't even look at it until um, I, I pulled the cards, but you have Aquarius, the innovator. So um, it's definitely your energy here uh, showing up. Third house, Aquarius, relationships. You may find that you meet different friends. You have different friend groups. Um, you can make friends easily. Um, you may even find that you, fi you find dating pretty you know, um, seamless. You can find a date. You can date people. But at the same time, you, you may find that you are always or it always turns into like um, a third party situation where there's a there's, you know, competition, um, circulation. You know, somebody is, um, you know, has a rotation and they want you in the rotation here. It's funny because the Aquarius card, the star card in the Tarot, it talks about the uh, story of Zeus and Ganymede. Zeus already had several wives and, and so forth, but he saw this beautiful boy, Ganymede, on Earth, who is an Aquarius, who is supposed to be the water bearer in the uh, Tarot uh, depiction on the star card, right? And um, he sees this beautiful boy, almost looks androgynous, um, and he wants to have him, and he takes him. Even though Zeus already had several wives and other things, he was already established in his life. He takes this young boy, and he 
you know, we won't get into all of that, but um, what he wanted uh, Ganymede for was uh, pleasure, you know, uh, fulfillment, attainment. Um, so me you may even be finding that you're meeting people or they're meeting you or whatever you want to say who just want to have fun with the third house here. Um, the perception of you is that you're, you're ready and available and you're beautiful enough um, you're sexy, attractive. Sometimes the star card could be indicative could be indicative of somebody just wanting to, you know, have fun, sex, you know, uh, with you, beauty, sex, fashion. Uh, it could be the star card. So you may be finding yourself in third party situations. You don't even know. Well, this isn't your intention, but it's something about perception or how people are perceiving you that maybe you are not. Um, you know, you are uh, liberal about it, you know, unique, um, free, you know, maybe radical. Um, maybe you don't want all of the title and responsibility. Or you're finding people that are finding you that, uh, I don't know, they see that you're a good fit for that for whatever reason. We'll pull some cards on why in love and romance um, relationships you got the third house. It's also about discussions, you know, social ability, of course, dating, speech, thoughts, social media, excursions. Yeah, you get people who want to come into your life and have this adventure, excursion. We know that adventure and excursions are not meant to last, right? So you get people who wanted to come in into your life and have this, you know, um, whirlwind romance, if you will. And maybe you want more, and maybe you don't. Or maybe you thought you wanted that initially, and then it turns into something else. So overall, your overall energy is Pluto. So that's transformation. That's Scorpio. Um, it's deep transformation. It's the dark side of the moon. It's renewal. It's death and rebirth. So maybe you're trying to maybe rebirth something. Uh, in career and finance, you're trying to put something to an end and bring something else to life. Okay, you feel like, okay, I've gone as far as I can go with this thing. It's time for it to transition breathe new life into it, do something different. I've got to bring something new about uh, maybe a career in finance. And um, love and romance, you just want something new in terms of you just, you're tired of meeting the same old, same old. So energy, like attracts like. So I don't know what it is about you, Aquarius, that says you're up for the excursion, but maybe you need to kind of dig deeper because Pluto is about transformation. It's about deep Thoughts, feelings, stagnant thoughts and feelings, maybe suppression of the thoughts and the feelings, okay, the emotions. So you're going to dig deep in terms of yourself and really start to maybe even Aquarius, be yourself, innovate something different. Maybe it's not for everyone to have this uh, traditional marriage and running off into the sunset. Maybe third parties are, you know, what you do or in your marriage, in your relationship, or this is what you like to be a part of. You like to know strings attached. Um, yeah, maybe you want to be involved in something edgy. I don't know. It's like some somebody was getting that from you. Or people are getting that from you. I don't know. Sometimes your energy can speak louder than your words. You may say one thing, but your energy says another. It, it brings me to the mindset of years ago, many, many moons ago. Um... So, uh, so um, uh, a cousin of mine brought to my, to my mind that, um, well, we were talking and we were talking about what we wanted in terms of relationships and I had just gotten out of my marriage and blah, 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 but whatever. So um, we're talking about what we wanted in relationships and she was like, are you sure that you're open for a relationship? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready. And she's like, well, you know, you can kind of tell the universe that you're ready. And I was like, okay, all right, so what are you trying to say? She was like, well, look how you park your car in your driveway. You park it sideways so that no one else can park in the driveway. It's like you're telling everyone, you know, you're alone, you live alone, you don't want to be bothered, there's no room for it. You know, so she, she was just bringing to my, to my mind that, you know, you've got to energetically, you know, symbolically, make room for that other person you gotta tell yourself and other people that you're ready for pairing or partnership okay so i don't know maybe something about you that's like super super independent you know 
Um, I don't have to worry about that now because I'm in a condo and there's no driveway, so. <laughs> Let's see, um, what is going on for Aquarius in third house love and romance? Okay, so we get a whole bunch of cards that wanted to fall onto the floor. So you may be in a situation where you just don't even know what to say about it. You just kind of dumbfounded. You don't know what to say about the relationship that you're in. And you may even find that you're in some third party situation with um, when I ignore you, I'm with someone else or trying to find a new victim. So, you, so, oh, wow, that is so crazy because that's just like the story we told of Zeus and Ganymede. Like Zeus went looking for an excursion, an adventure, trying to find a new victim with someone else. So you may be dealing with somebody who looks at the relationship as playful, sociable, an excursion. Yeah, and somebody may be saying, you know, if you decide to stay, it's on you. Like they're not even taking responsibility for it. maybe playing with your emotions. Yeah, chaser. They may want you to chase them. Maybe you used to chase them. Maybe they're chasing you now because they feel like it's a cat and mouse game. It's, um, you know, the runabout or the runaround. It's like, okay, well, you, you're not focused on me now, Aquarius. So I'll chase you. And then when I get you focused back on me, then you'll chase me. So it's for somebody you're dealing with, it's a game. It's not as serious as you think it is. All right, so let's see what in terms of um, transformation in Pluto. I hope that you guys can hear me. I'm using a, a third mic now, so whatever. Um, let's see. Pluto, transformation. Yeah, okay, so uh, shutting down is not the answer. So you don't need to just shut down, okay? The sacral chakra. Okay, so um, this is, um, yeah, I'm, okay, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Right, so. Shutting down is not the answer. So you may find that you don't have the answer or you don't know what you need to be focused on. Pluto, it says you need to have complete transformation. You need to dive deep. This could even be going to therapy, do some therapeutic work, um, doing something that is therapeutic, maybe an emotional release, a renewal. Yeah, deep, stagnant emotions, something that you've been holding on to that you thought you were over and you are not. So shutting down is not the answer. To completely shut down is not the answer. So, you know, when your computer, laptop, whatever, is not acting right, you're just like, oh, let me shut it down and hopefully that'll fix it. No, nah, you know, maybe there might be something bigger there. So you got to deal with that. So um, new job. Okay, so definitely you guys want something new in terms of career and finance, okay, with the Pluto and the transformation. Or you want to bring about a new, I don't know, you want to reinvent yourself, um, death and rebirth you want to redo you want to revamp you want to uh, redecorate yourself if you will reimagine something or um, you want to bring up about a new stream of so this could even be like new streams of income uh, so it's just like you want a new job for some of you or just want a new title new purpose or you want to repurpose your purpose mm, okay so uh let, let's let's continue to talk about it here yeah see this was on the bottom of the deck I have a girlfriend, a boyfriend, but I want you to. And you see that it's like laughing about it. It's funny. So you may be dealing with somebody who's just in that energy, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm going to harp on that. Well, okay. All right. So, yeah, you may be dealing with somebody who's in that energy. It's just a relationship. You'll get over it. Like, they're not even taking responsibility for your hurt, your hurt feelings. Maybe, again... It was frivolous to them. It was fun. It was games. They're a chaser. I can't make this shit up. Wow. <laughs> and if you find someone new, I will pursue you just to sabotage, just to sabotage your new connection. You had a chaser. Runner, chaser. It's like they, okay, so you find someone new, they're going to sabotage that uh, and act as if they want you back. And as soon as they get you back hooked on them, then you'll, they'll have you chasing them. Be cautious and wary of this type of energy, Aquarius. You may have just attracted somebody who's just low vibrational. And I don't know that they will in this lifetime ever uh, live up to what you need them to be. Okay, Aquarius, keep in mind that, uh, so let me just insert this real quick because I'm getting a lot of emails. So 
um, a lot of people want to have readings with me and they're finding that maybe the cost is you know out of uh, their budget so today and I think for the rest of the weekend I have um, a $22 and 22 cent reading if you can't swing that then I, I think we need a little bit more help so yeah but anyhow it, the reading is $22 22 cents it's five minutes over the phone or Skype or zoom with me um, think about everything that you just learned in the first five minutes of this video five minutes with me could be life changing if you will so um take advantage of that it is over the phone Skype zoom so um, there are no recorded readings for that so um, yeah it, over the phone is best anyway you know get to feel your energy you feel mine um, so take advantage you know this is for you and those who have emailed me twenty two dollars twenty two cents oh five minutes and 55 seconds yeah i just only wanted to kind of like um do that so it's five minutes 55 seconds for for 22 dollars and 22 cents so take advantage of that all right so it's almost six minutes with me the best six minutes okay <laughs> of your life all right so anyway take advantage uh, it will be linked below um let's talk about uh the 10th house in terms of career and finance 10th house your reputation your reputation of aquarius is is absolutely beautiful um because you're a hard worker and you're good at what you do and you've been doing it for a number of years you could even travel for work okay or there's gonna be a lot of travel for work business is going to pick up um you feel like you, you do want to do something different though okay or you're going to put your money somewhere different or you need a, a different stream of income or something of that nature so let's see yeah, five of cups, you're kind of feeling dissatisfied, boredom. There could have even been job loss. So now you're just trying to figure out what to do next. Okay? You've been doing this for too long. Um, dissatis dissatisfaction. Okay? Um, you know, it's like you're getting through the circumstances of job loss. Maybe it's like in between jobs and you're taking odd jobs. Or with the 10... The tenth house showing up, it's like your career is highlighted. You've learned some tough lessons. With the five of cups in the the tenth house, let's see what else. Yet the world and the sun card can't make it up, so it's just like you. Um, so this is like God and man form with the sun card and the world card. It's like you, you're ready to have something new, new chapter. You learn. You feel like you just you just feel like you've outgrown it, or it's so much more that you can be doing or you want to do. Graduation. Mat you know, matriculation, maturing, moving on, um, moving on to a different timeline, a different chapter. Um, success is imminent. Maybe you have been successful. Or you're on the brink of success here. The sun is shining on you. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. So who the sun, enlightenment sets free is free indeed. Some of you want to be liberated from maybe a nine to five here. You want to do your own thing. So let's see. Um, what is happening for Aquarius? One more card for 10th house career and finance. The 10 of swords here is so can't make it up. So you just feel like, okay, I'm, I'm over it. You know, I'm over the disappointment, the slap in the face, the, um, the pink slip, the layoff, um, the worrying about if I'm going to be on the chopping block. Um, the tough lesson is, is learned here. There's no more of that. And there is going to be attainment success fulfillment here um something you've endured a lot disappointment setback uh, all of a sudden blindsided by collapse calamity business falling apart every you you've done it you know if you if it is bad you've been through it and it says no more of that because the tens are about completion here um, so it looks like some of you have found like stability or you know how to um, mitigate these circumstances, you know, to save your money, you know, to have a side hustle, you know, to always have more than, you know, one iron in the fire. I know, let's see. Two of cups and the page of swords. Yeah, it's like, you know, that um, some of you want to pursue like a spiritual uh, career spiritual practice something you do every single day prioritize priority day to day 
Page of Swords. It's like you feel like you need to get gain more information on doing this thing, whatever it is, or learn. It could be the Tarot. It could be anything. It could definitely be spirituality. It could have something to do with relationships. You and be a relationship coach or something about coaching. Um, the Two of Cups and the Page of Swords. Um, yeah, having people under you, giving guidance. Um, being that wise person that people come to. Give me one more card for the Two of Cups and the Page of Swords. It's like you feel like you learned a lot. You had the Moon card. So it's like um, the veil. Like the veil of what's about to happen. Yeah, King of Swords Tower. What you don't see is that all of a sudden something comes becomes very successful. Okay. King of Swords, Tower, and the Three of Wands. Something uh, becomes extremely successful here. And it could be that you are becoming a guru, a master, a master teacher. Um, there's a bit, been a change in your perspective, your life philosophy, your, a transition in your personality. Therefore, um, you're about to success, once again, it's imminent, and then you're about to have a successful completion of a project. So you put something out there, okay, the Three of Wands, and then now, boom, the successful completion of the Four of Wands. So it becomes stable. Something becomes stabilized. It's not radioactive and... Um, you know, falling apart, or uh, there there won't be uh, this uh, disappointment, this blindsidedness. I know something becomes extremely stable because you're doing some high quality work here. Wow, with the Queen of Pentacles coming out. Hang on, guys. Um, whoa. Okay, so that's why they said, yeah, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. You're doing some quality work. People are throwing money at you. They want to patronize you. They want to give you their money. They want to be a part of it. They want to work with you. I don't know if you're in sales or, wow, Ten of Pentacles showing up. So you could be in sales. Wow. Then like a life altering change. I don't know. Just wait for it with the Four of Swords. Don't worry. I'm trying to stay out of worry, out of your head. Ace of Swords, it's like you get some, um, the key, or like a winning type, I don't know, you get a winning ticket, you get some clarity. Nine of Swords, Ace of Swords, is Ten of Swords, we just saw Ten of Swords. Something is ending, though, like uh, in your career in finance. Something that was very um, chaotic, devastating. You may have had to change your entire life. You may have let go of a lot of stuff, okay? Maybe a lot of material. Maybe something was um, taken from you. Um, it looks like you're going to get that back. Um, double time is what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Something is activated within you. You may even get a lawyer or you get legal advice um, that allows for uh, this Ten of Pentacles. You go from the Three of Pentacles to the Ten of Queen of Pentacles. It's like something you were doing, hard work, dedication. You were doing it around the clock. You were blessed at it. The, the, the divine was blessing you with... Um, insight this is a time for rest though you need to rest and rest assured in knowing that you're going to get um i'm hearing recompense for maybe all of the hard work or everything that you had to give up everything you had to endure all the hurt all the pain all the shame I don't know if you're waiting for some type of money here. Things that you had to leave behind because you didn't have the money, you didn't have the, you couldn't maintain it. This is like another lifetime, not lifetime, but like you had to reinvent yourself. You had to let something go and then This took time in building your reputation here. Yep. 
And now you have, and now you're coming into a season of maybe abundance, the transference of wealth, inheritance, whether that is, you know, knowledge or that's money. You're coming into a season of more than enough. You're coming out of lack or you're coming out of hard work. You're coming out of doing it alone. You could even marry into money or meet somebody. It could be a significant partner or partnering up or choosing to work with you. Well, whomever this is, they come in and they lighten the load. Something that you've done, seed that you planted is definitely going to be big for you, Aquarius. Whatever this is, I don't know what it is. Something you've, you've started a business or, again, you got a lot of cards of, of like the esoteric and the occult and the tarot and, you know, maybe even spiritual healing and apocryphy. I can never say that word. And herbalist and um, uh, medicinal, uh, um, or what is it, uh, herbology, or um, um, I can't even think of a word, I always say it like, um, like um, homeopathic or something like that. I don't know, you'd be coming into some type of, something that you've learned, chemical or, or chemist, or you're a chemist, or you know, my right hand is itching, y'all. So it's like some money is definitely coming into you because of like your brain power. All of a sudden, sudden upheaval. You're an expert. And the 10 or the 10th house talks about expertise and reputation. You you put something together, you do something. Ace of Wands can talk about starting your own thing, enterprise, determination, of course, uh, business. Okay, innovator with the Aquarius at the bottom of the deck. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see what the future energy is. So we know that you're dealing with like an F boy, F girl here in the third, in the relationship, the third house, and somebody just wants you to chase them. But it looks like in career and finance, things are coming to a head to where you're about to be ahead. Whoa, it flipped out of the deck. Sudden wealth, Aquarius. So all of a sudden, you get a lot of something. Abundance, more than enough. Lucky, lucky numbers, 777. You may be seeing 777. Yeah, 10 of pentacles. Transference of wealth. I don't know, it's coming from somewhere else and it's being transferred to you. Well, this could even be um, like your different spell work that you do. Like um, it could be heightened at this time. Uh, you'd be like getting insight as to what to add to your spells, your money spells, where to plant seed, where to make investment. But look, look what it brings you, sudden wealth. What else do we have for Aquarius? And we do have spell work and like earth magic here with the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So let's see, what else do we have for Aquarius? Wow, high honor. Yeah, with that 10th house reputation. So you're going to get like public re um, recognition. Um, your reputation is going to be through the charts or off the charts or through the roof. Or people are going to, it's going to be very public in terms of what you get. This is being recognized, graduation. What is this about? What is this about? What is this about for a queen? Wow, can't make this stuff up. Privileged lady or a privileged man. So having it your way, living life on your own terms. You have more than enough. You're abundant. Maybe you don't work for money anymore. Money works for you. You make money in your sleep. Whatever this is, it's like you put something out there and it came back to you tenfold, a hundredfold. The universe wants you to see something, okay? That spell work is working. I don't know. Wow. You could even be marrying into money. We talked about that too. Or a new practice. Definitely marriage. Wow. The courthouse. This could... 
this could be indicative of like signing a contract, signing a contract. I don't know, something being transferred to you. The lean, the, I heard the deed, the land, the lean. I don't know. It's good news though. Good tidings, good cheer coming into you, Aquarius. Wow. Whoa, they want you to just be in the energy of abundance. That reduces to a 10. That's 28 expectation. They want you to be in the energy of just expecting this, Aquarius. What is this new job coming in for Aquarius? New job for Aquarius. New job for Aquarius. Wow, get some of the same cards. The Hermit, okay, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Wands. So this is somebody taking action in regards to some inspired thought, some uh, being filled with spirit, your cup running over, being happy, living life on your own terms, remodeling, redecorating, redoing something over. Uh, but the page of wands promotion a large sum of money coming into you and now you can enjoy the fruits of your labor and do something or do a lot of something that allows you to give back to help others to guide others you help others like matriculate or come to their higher self Something where you just kind of take the lead. You have an idea and you move on it. Like you're not even concerned about you just you just moving on it, Aquarius. Let's see what this is about. So temperance, maybe around Sagittarius time. We got the King of Wands with the Temperance card. Perfect timing. Angelic help also. So you may be speaking to your angels, praying a lot, maintaining emotional balance here. Seven of Swords with the Queen of Cups and the Sun card, Ace of Wands. Okay, so this could be that relationship. Um, there's something that you need to keep your plans uh, secret you might even need to go back to the drawing board and revise something. Okay, uh, if it's saying that it's saying that if you feel like you need a partner, you do not. Seven of Swords. Okay, go it alone. Okay, with the Queen of Cups, definitely go it alone. Listen to your intuition, and then the Ace of Wands. Take action. Be up for the challenge. Be motivated. Uh, throw your hat in the ring too. So that means that there's other people doing this. The the Sun card. Um, it looks like the universe is, you know, blessing you with vitality, vibrance. They want your heart to be as free, light as a feather. Like some of you need to do some, excuse me, heart chakra healing. The sun card. Also, things are being illuminated to you. Things are being expressed to you. The sun, the sun, the sun. What is this sun card here? God in man form. You could be changing altogether. Your appearance could be changing. You could look more youthful for your age. You could be, yeah, four of pentacles. This is a large sum of money coming into you. Newfound wealth. Once again, you get another card of go it alone with the four of pentacles here. If you feel like you need a partner, it says go it alone. I don't know. It's like, I don't know. People want to be coming to you and seeing, you know, the three of pentacles. They want to partner with you. You know, ace of pentacles with the higher fan. I don't know if you get a loan, if you get a large sum of money from an agency, from a governmental agency, um, you were instructed to put something in, in, in investment or savings or put a seed in the ground. This was the seed for wealth. You planted something for wealth here. This something materializes for you, so it's made real. You know, realistic, these cards, this table is made real for you and like you now understand your manifestation power. You come into psychologically understanding your power, your true potential, what you are capable of. You may be manifesting like something super duper big, a house, a car, I don't know, whatever it is, you get it. And you're like, wow. You did something religiously each and every day, or they asked you to do something religiously, maybe for five days until the fifth of the month, or the Hierophant um, guided, or guidance, or guiding, I don't know. What is this for the Aquarius? Can you 
cup oh, Libra the idealist okay so this was about cooperation aspiration the Hierophant and the Ace of Pentacles oh there's an inner voice so there's the intuition that gut feeling that's you and then there's an inner voice there is um, you know suspicion um, more so in the um, Hebrew uh, tradition that you know everybody was born with a good and a bad angel so I don't know you could be listening to that good guidance that allowed for you to you know plant a seed do something this is the opportunity for wealth. And if you don't see the opportunity, it says look again. The beginning does not determine the end. This takes 110%. And you gave something 110%. Libra is a hard worker. So maybe you did something, you know, religiously. I don't know, you prayed every day. You were fasting on these days. I don't know, you went by some type of calendar. What is this about? Okay, yeah, the seventh house relating partnership, best friend, marriage, justice, balance. There could be a marriage coming into you, Corp Capricorn, conjunction, and then Mercury. I don't know. Again, you get like an ally or somebody coming in who's going to propel you and put you at a place of the boss. This could be a boss type energy coming into you. It could be in terms of a, or in the form of a relationship with the seventh house. Communication, Mercury, your thoughts, analysis, learning, muse. So somebody could be coming in looking at you like, you know, you are their muse. You know, you bring a lot of inspiration to this person. You inspire this person. Before they want to put their money, their coin behind you. The Capricorn, the 10th house. Again, the boss. Uh, stern. Uh, strict. Accomplished. Real, realistic. Ambitious. Serious. Corporate. Reserved. Rigid. Discipline. And that's these were the things you had to be to get things moving. Or see some type of my right hand is keep itching. Some of you are getting some money, money, money. Some of you are a mystic, okay? So some of you you rely heavily on spirit to guide you. Okay, you're empathic, you're a healer. Um, at times maybe you were a little bit illogical. You had to kind of learn how to marry the um, practical with the spiritual you're magical for some of you some of you incorporated both the practical and the spiritual therefore there was that temperance okay that balance that yin that yang energy masculine and feminine practical and spiritual so it was like the marrying of two energies so that you could come into you know like a balance in your life um getting your life together um so that you can mitigate um maybe setbacks or circumstances Stances, okay, so it's like you using both. This looks really good. This is like a high vibrational Aquarius who have been through a lot of shit in their life and had to lose a lot of shit to understand what they needed to do to move forward. Okay, that wanted to show up. Child, so it's like you're gonna have a new start, a rebirth. Um, maybe somebody even wants to reconcile, reunion with you. Um, let's see one. So, you know, we shuffle these about two times. Okay. Cut the deck. All right. Three more. So, somebody might want to come in to you and have a new start here. Let's see what's happening for the Aquarius. Shit. So, thief and child. So, innocence and uh, naive. I can't never say that word. Anyway, they think you're naive. Um, this is somebody who's deceptive. The one thing that gets me about this card is, you might can't see it, but this is a man. But it looks like he has on high heel shoes. So this is somebody who's not even like kosher or comfortable within themselves. It could be in the Hebrew Jewish tradition or uh, culture. Um, 
not comfortable with their sexuality here, not comfortable, you know, displaying themselves. They're hiding, they're in shadow, there's a shadow there. It's him and then it's green shadow here, if you can't see that. Um, this is somebody who is a thief. Now, keep in mind that theft happens on so many different levels. It's not just that I go in your wallet or your purse and I take your money or, or you know, whatever. Um, but I could just be sitting around you and soaking up everything about you. Your energy, your time, how you say things, how you relate. Um, the very essence of you. And I'm going to go and take all of that and go, you know, kind of manifest uh, somewhere else, not with you. So I just stole that from you. Yep, scholars. Somebody was doing something each and every day, maybe looking at you stealing your work. Um, I was getting this for another reading that I did for you. Somebody could be like copying you. I was getting like copying off your tests. You could be in school. If it's not your test and it's like at work, copying your work, copying your videos, copying this, copying that, sitting around you just to take from you. Every single day, trying to find a way, um, somebody's trying to find a way how to get back to you, get you back stuck on them. Yeah, misfortune. Looks like somebody came into an energy of misfortune. Something broke down, you know, uh, for them, uh, or they were found out. You found them out that they were a thief, a liar, deceptive, had ulterior motive, was a frenemy, uh, really wanted to take from you, okay? They were found out and they were expelled. Yep. You found out that somebody was a foe to you. They were comparing themselves to you, comparing their life to you, to be better than you. Competition, if you will. Okay, so they were a foe. So they were acting like they were a friend, but what they were really doing was comparing notes. You know, how can I be more like the Aquarius? Or this is what you were doing, Aquarius. Conversation, listening heavy, heavily to your conversation. Keep in mind that some conversation you're going to have is going to bring a lot of clarity to you by way of who this person is, what they do, or they have done let's see what else um, yeah size and melancholy i mean you kind of just feel in the middle about it there's sentiment here but i don't know it's like you this can't really get you down like you're not really down you're in the middle of this like you're not you're not in a really low place sad place nor are you over the moon about maybe being taken for a ride or lied to or someone deceiving you but it's not really getting you down. It's not getting you to a place of where you're downtrodden. Okay, let's see. Yeah, friend. I can't make this up. So uh, maybe you thought you could, that somebody was loyal. You were loyal to someone. It just sucks. I don't know if you've been here before, especially with the misfortune coming out in the tower earlier. Maybe you've been in a situation where you thought somebody was your friend and it turned out that they weren't. Uh, so you've been here before. Uh, it is what it is. And uh, you're going to sever ties and move on. Yeah, fortune. Okay, so somebody wanted to take your fortune. They wanted to usurp, okay? They wanted to take everything that you had. Um, wow, they wanted to make you misfortunate, okay? And misfortune is here. Wow, shit. So they they coming out with misfortune, you coming out with fortune. They wanted to upset your life, okay, Aquarius. But you're still coming out on top. You're still coming out fortunate. Somebody that just don't like you. Maybe you were like at, at one time a servant to this, you know, really submissive, subser subservient to this. Like, you know, I'm just going to let it slide. Well, the one thing that Aquarius is, is tolerant. Not, necessar not necessarily patient. But tolerant. Now keep in mind that tolerance has a cap to it, right? Um, for uh, this bottle of water can only tolerate, you know, water up to here. And then it will start to flow over. And that's typically the Aquarius. You can tolerate but so much and then, you, you know, you combust and it just flows over. So uh, maybe you were tolerating a lot uh, and it came off as um, subservient, uh, submissive. Um, but then you put it into something. You were like, oh, no, this is a no-go. The answer is no. This could talk. The death card can talk about a relationship being over. Whether that's romantic, platonic, or whatever. Yeah, because you, you saw that somebody was in direct contrast to you, an enemy to you. And that's all enemies are. They're in their opposition to you, okay? Direct contrast to, to you, to what you want, to your life, to your well-being. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, and now you're in, in a place of cheerfulness, happiness, celebration. Even if you have to do it alone. Even if you have to do it with strangers. Yeah, joyfulness. Wow. It's just like you ding dong the witch is dead. It's like you really let something go. Um, yeah, soldier, um, the player, the playboy, the F girl, F boy, 
and somebody who was willing to do battle, verbal battle over the fact that they were a liar, um, contentious. Um, this could be a psychopath, a narcissist. Uh, they get indignant when you come to them with uh, questioning their integrity. And that's why they're, they're willing to do verbal battle over it. But they're also committed to themselves. They're a soldier. They're still, you know, soldiering on for whatever cause. But they're really not committed to anything or any one person but themselves. Uh, somebody can feel like they're running out of time, but they need to incorporate something from the past. This could be in terms of your career also. Maybe you need to go back to that thing. Maybe that, that thing you left behind, you need to incorporate it in the now. Um, somebody feels like they're running out of time. Frivolity. and running out of time playing around and meeting these playboys, these playgirls, these F-boys, F-girls. Like you, you may feel like, okay, I'm tired of meeting these frivolous people, these people who want nothing serious, who bring nothing to the table. And you keep saying, I'm old faithful. I'm, you know, um, it says that you're going to be rewarded for your faithfulness, your hard work, and your dedication. Okay, Aquarius, even though you endure frivolity, if somebody's going to be in a place of despair or desperation, uh, or they are in that place of desperation, last card again, yeah, you're going to get some type of gift from the heavens. Don't despair. Don't be in worry. Stay in a place of um, expectation. Okay? That's what the uh, cards want you to do. Yeah, somebody's thinking heavily about how they can come back to you, what they can do, what they can say. But, you know, it, it's pretty much over. All right, let's see. Where did, what do these cards want to say for the Aquarius? So somebody is a sex worker, uh, paper play, prostitution, porn, escort, exotic dancer, OnlyFans, or anything else that you can think of. We're going to leave that there. Um, and let's see. Yeah, start your healing journey today. As long as you wait, your blessings will be delayed. Start today, Aquarius. Okay. And uh, extremely happy. Can't make this up. He's got a lot of cards. So the universe bringing some high vibrational Aquarius. He has done the work. Extreme happiness. Money coming into the bank. Good, clean bill of health. You win the lottery or a game. I talked about winning something. Receive a promotion. Yep, we got that. Got a job. New job came out, you know. Um, let's see what else we have for Aquarius. What else do we have for Aquarius? Something's going to make you extremely happy. Ooh. 23, this came out earlier for a reading I did, but I didn't post it. Highly fortunate number, royal star of the lion, ensures success, assistance, support from higher ups, and this person is protected. So that's you, Aquarius. Um, wow, okay, yeah. So the condition of being successful or thriving, especially economic well-being. So this talks about prosperity. You're coming into a place of prosperity. You're coming out of lack change um, mitigating circumstances and having to make payment arrangements and robbing peter to pay paul you come into a, a condition of um, being successful and thriving and the lord says wait wait on the lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait i say on the lord that's what i'm saying just wait um yeah all right so we'll leave that there uh, let's leave you with some of the soulmate cards. What are soulmate cards from Aquarius? Some of you about to have like complete change, shift in your finances. If you want that, let's write shift down in the comment section. Shift, change, shift. Yeah, that's all we need. A shift, change, right? Because the Ten of Pentacles is about the transference of wealth. So transfer that thing on over. Shift, change. We are changing, okay? It is shifting. Uh, whoever is on the shift right now, get ready to get bumped, okay? A shift change is happening. It's happening. Uh, type shift change down in the comment section. It says love yourself as much as you want others to love you, to love you okay? Um, so some of you just projecting outward, giving all this love, love, give, 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 receive a little bit, give, give, give. It's just like, what? Aquarius, no. Anyone, bring it all back in. Bring it all back in. And people are going to look at you as like, you know, you're selfish. 
but there is a such thing as a healthy level of selfishness for those who strive, thrive, survive, um, you know, they put themselves first at least once or twice or a lot of times in their life, okay? So Aquarius, you can't just keep giving, giving, giving. You gotta come on, bring it back in. And you, gotta, you know, no is a complete sentence. You know, it, it is, just no. All right, so let's see. Damn, Aquarius, they really wanna harp on this. The, the, the more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give to others. Can't even make this up. We just did that whole give thing. Um, the give came out twice in this saying, the more love and care you give yourself, the more love you have to give to others. So there's a such thing as depletion, Aquarius. If you, um, you keep giving, 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 you will become depleted. Who will replenish you? I guess you got to run to God to fill you back up. God is love. And then you're going to go give more love to no, you better not. All right, let's see what else is happening for Aquarius. Um, okay, you want a person who comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. That's what I'm talking about. That is so phenomenal. Comes into your life by accident but stays on purpose. So that means they come into your life with a purpose and they stay on that purpose. They focus on that purpose, dating with a purpose. They have purpose, intention for you. Stop dating people, dealing with people. The Zeus and Ganymede type story where people just swoop you up because it looks like you, you know, um, you, you would uh, be liking to a fun time, to an excursion, to an adventure. No. And, and quit thinking that you can turn this into more than what it is, you know, with some of these people. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. Yeah, so you, this talks about taking your power back, drawing it back into you. This card is so dark. You are dark like in terms of the color. <laughs> you are spiritually connected to those you love. Okay. So yeah, you're spiritually connected to those you love. So that's why you feel that person. Don't get too hung up and wrapped up on that. You know, some people just so damn heavenly bound. They ain't no earthly good. I can feel their connection. They must want me. I've got to go to them. No, you don't. You could just, you know, quietly say to yourself, um, you know, have a good day, whomever that person is, that you, you feel them thinking about you, trying to draw you back in. Have a good day. Move on. Or you can actually say, you know, um, I, I cut the cords to that. It's done. It's over. I don't know, but you you, you can control that. You, you don't have to be drawn. You know, you're not a wave, like, just going toss to and fro whenever this person is beckoning and calling for you. No. Um, peace comes from within. Do not seek it without. Okay, so some of you want everything else and everybody else to be your peace, but you are no, you have no peace. Okay, you're no one else's peace. You're a riot within yourself because you haven't dealt with yourself. Um, you are unhealed. Or you're dissatisfied. There's nothing in self that can satisfy. Keep that in mind. So we we always need to be going to God or God type complex. You get to choose what your God is, but we need to be going to God and seeking. You know, because there's nothing within self uh, that can fulfill. So we're all unfulfilled until we find God, right? All right, so, um, all right, moonology card, because the full moon is coming up on Sunday. Uh, that's the ninth, right? Yeah, Sunday. So you should be releasing at this time, all right? And we got Pluto. So that's definitely the death rebirth. I think you had death come out once for you, twice. Let's see. A personal issue uh, re resolves or a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon and cancer. Something about your emotions could be dealing with the cancer. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. So things can mutate. Okay, with that 10, 10th house, 10 of swords, 10 of pentacles, things can really mutate and turn into the energy that you want it to using magic, okay? Um, some the mutable signs are some of the magical ones, okay? Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Pisces. Um, so it's about maybe using all that you have to create and shape and form your reality for what you want, how you want it, especially in career and finance. Keep in mind that career and finance is very important in this life of um, 
enlightenment and sustainability because if you do what you hate for a living then that's going to spill over into every other aspect of your life you say you want a soulmate you want a twin flame and all this other stuff um, but you're the job that you absolutely hate you hate the people you hate the job you hate it all um but you want a soulmate that doesn't read well i mean if you just spell it out you'll see that it doesn't read well i hate my job i hate the people that i work with but i have a loving dear person at home but when i leave my job i'm going to take with me that hate and all of that discontentment dissatisfaction to this loving caring dear person at home no it just doesn't it doesn't go well so so a lot of times the universe wants us to get on purpose you know get in your purpose do what you love Try to find employment in that thing or fulfillment in that thing or self-employment, if you will, so that you can love what you do. And then you have that loving, dear person at home. You see how love goes from here to there to, to everywhere, you know? If you love what you do, you can do it with love. You can give love until people can see that. You have nothing but love to give to other people because you do what you love. Boom. You get a loving, dear person at home. You can give them love because what you do for a living, what you create, is nothing but what you love to do. It is love incorporated into your entire life. Okay, it's a circle of love. Some of you just, it's, your life is fragmented. Okay, you want this love and this, this you know, storybook, fairy tale love, but your life is shit. And it's like, get your life together. Go to God. Don't go to anybody else. Pray. If you don't know how to pray, pick up a book. How to pray. I mean, do anything, but do something about your life today, this day. It says, start the healing journey. Start today. Uh, the longer you wait, the more you delay, you delay your blessing. And all of us, all of you, most of you are here for love. You want this, I want that, I want this person to love me, I want a soulmate, I want this and that. But you hate everything around you. I hate my family, I hate my kids, uh, I hate my job. You know, maybe the hate started with, I don't know, you know, you gotta, that's where you gotta dig deep with that um, Pluto transformation. Maybe the hate started with something happening to you at a young age, okay? And all you have to give is that hurt and that pain and that hate. But you keep talking about you want love and like some of you need to do some deep soul cleansing healing. Okay. Um, some of you really need to do it. I read some of these comments and I'm like, yeah, you really need to do it. You know, so um, yeah, I might be stepping on a few toes. Unsubscribe if you feel that way. L you know, let's not exchange anything. I will never, ever, ever, ever 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 comment to you so just don't um i don't comment back to anything whether it's good or bad it just keeps it all plain um so anyway uh, aquarius some of you need to do some deep soul healing because uh, the sacral chakra came up also some of you are using that wand or that wop a little bit too much you may even be trying to uh, turn relationships or sexual relationships into relationship or trying to displace um, sexual connection for love and it's not you know God is love go to God first also some of you want these people to love you whether it be man or woman and they don't know God so if God is love and they don't know God how can they love you because they don't know love again another circle God is love this person doesn't know God so how can they love you? Okay, so they got to go to God. Everything circles back to God or some God-like complex. Find God and then you'll find everything, okay? Um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Keep in mind the best five minutes and 55 seconds you will ever have in your life is available for you now, especially to those who email that they can't really, um, you know, their budget doesn't allow for uh, some of the other readings uh, that I uh, provide. So $22, 22 cents gets you the best five minutes of your life with me. Take advantage. I'm going to link it below. Um, just think about all the things that you learned in the first five minutes here. Okay, so five minutes and 55 seconds with me either on the phone or Zoom, uh, Skype, however, especially if you're in a different country. But uh, there are no pre-recordings for the five minutes and 55 second reading so no no recorded no 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 recorded no recorded no recorded phone skype zoom phone skype 
Zoom, okay? Um, so uh, take advantage of that, guys, all right? Uh, all links are below. If you are a like-minded uh, business, or if you want to be around like-minded individuals who are all about their business, join the KTMG. Keep the momentum going. Monthly conference calls. Some beautiful things are happening there. You're getting some spiritual and practical advice as to how to start, maintain, or grow your business, all right? And then also, if you want to get, hop on a discovery call with me to see if I can be of assistance to you uh, in regards to your business, um, go ahead, uh, schedule your discovery call. It is complimentary, okay? It is about business, and it is a discovery call, okay? So you might want to go and define that before you actually sign up for it. All right, so uh, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care. Bye.